Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are making steaks giving. So this is 2018 steaks giving. Steaks giving is steak, some pumpkin pie, and twice baked potatoes. So tonight we're marinating the ribeye. So right now we need to get cooking, which means we need to wash our hands. So add about half an inch of the dale seasoning. Then Ugh. Plop your meat in there. So now we need to get a knife and stab holes in it. Uh, that way when we pour the sauce on it again, uh, it'll sink into some of the holes. Put the knife away. Right here. So then we need to put this on again to cover it like that. So then it doesn't matter what order you use the things in. I'm going to use the lemon and pepper seasoning. I have a trick, pour it into your hand. That way you can control it way better. A bit about that much. And then just sprinkle it on. Hey guys, so it's the next day. And we have our beautiful ribeye. So, it's been six, six to eight hours. Uh, which is how long you need to marinate each side. So I'm going to flip it. And put the seasonings back. Hey guys, it's about six, so we're lighting the grill for our delicious Thanksgiving steak. So uh, let's get this. The lighter does not like cooperate. Small piece of coal right there. And at home, do not play with fire. So right now we're making our big potato and pumpkin pie. We're just pretty much start up with our baked potato. So we need to open the baked potatoes. Kids, get parents with permission before using knives or scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them all on this plate over here, all four. You can have as many, however many as you want, but now we have to wash them because if you didn't know, potatoes are roots. So I'm gonna put these back. Okay, so now you need to stab about three holes in them with a knife on each side. That way, because we're going to put in the microwave, you can cook it two ways. In the oven or in a, a crock pot and aluminum foil for both. But since that takes a long time, we're going to use the microwave. Then we need to cut holes so the microwave doesn't explode the potatoes. And since we are using the microwave, we are going to press the baked potato button for however many potatoes you have. Since we had four, we need to press it four times, one for every potato that you have. So now we have our Mrs. Smith's Flaky Crest Rear Butter Pumpkin Pie. Here we are right here. So we need to Bake. One, two, three, four, five. So it's at 375. Now we press start. Then we have place it in. We have this delicious pumpkin pie, which will then I will consume into my stomach. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna put the steak on the fire. Okay, so the potatoes are done cooking. We already did some to save time, so I saved one little boat for you guys. So I'm gonna take the spoon and make the skin a boat and put the potatoes, like the actual potatoes, in this big bowl and set the boat down on a big long pan. We need to add our sour cream first. That way, 
it gives us like a solid base as if because if we put salt and pepper first you wouldn't have anything else to go on so we're going to get our sour cream here you need to wash off your spoon so you don't get potatoes in your sour cream Stir it up, stir, 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 stir it up if it's liquidy. That way it will get sour creamy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna put a big, big glob. Yeah. And so what about two big globs, like this big? Huge globs. Next, we're going to add our uh, pep, not pepper, cheddar cheese. Loads of cheese. Okay. Do it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five teaspoons of a butter stick in there. Or tablespoons, sorry. Put that in there. And now we need to mash it up like mashed potatoes. Mash. Make sure you get all of that butter mashed because you don't want a big stick of butter. Oh, mash. 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 So once you're done with it, it should look like mashed potatoes. Okay, so there's the potato skins. Gonna get the scoop, put it there. So about two big scoops maybe three two to three big scoops in each one okay, so we have all of them stuffed it looks like this now we need to add more cheese to the top of every one do, so do about a handful for each one sprinkle it all over so i'm gonna go first right here best part have some of the cheese and potato mixture. Mm. 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 Just taste the meat. Perfection. Bye guys. We have three shout shout outs each episode. The three shout outs go to my dad, my mom, and to my dog Petty for not interrupting us at all. Bye.